So, You can call me Jimmy, or I guess like they always call me Mad Dog. When I was in high school, I stayed at kids life. No shit. My parents and I were camping. My dad used to get everywhere in this Winnipeg go. And we're all going to swimming. I was looking out over this rock and bam, little motherfucker goes overboard. His mom was all crying and shit like, somebody, somebody help my boy. And everybody even just rocks is just looking, you know, not doing shit. Just fucking pointing at the fucking water. He's just bobbing up and down, you know, going to fuck under and two school for the last time. And I'm like, fuck, you know? All of a sudden, all those years of swimming lessons kicking the fuck in, I dive into the water, man, not even noticing how that shit is fucking cold, you know? Just swimming towards the pool. I get to him, grab him by the arm, like, hey, little homie, hang the fuck on. Said the little pool's too scared. He's kicking with his legs, and man, he kicks me in the balls, the motherfucking balls. I ended up going under clutching him in my nutsack, you know, like, why you gotta do me like that when I try to save your life? But, you know, time is a day after this shit. I grab him, like, hey, little boy, you better calm the fuck down. And swam us to shit. Save this goddamn life. <laughs> Some crazy shit. Boys all crying, snock him out of his nose, fingers all blue. His mom's and the rest of his family's like, thank you, thank you, shaking my hand like I'm a fucking hero. It's fucking crazy. My dad's an old thing. I mean, he didn't say much. He just patted me on the shoulder. Asked me if I was okay. But I could tell. He was proud of me. It was that one moment, you know, like, fuck, I probably made all my ancestors proud. It felt like the, the water, just like the water just stripped all the bullshit away. It showed me who I am, like I, who I really am. And it showed me who the fuck I could be. Your homie's late. He said 9.30, fool. It's 9.15. Fucking I'm fucking chill. calling or something. I get We're fucking early because you fucking made us hustle to get the fuck out here. Fucking wait, fool. Chill. <laughs> Jimmy, can you fucking relax? You're fucking making me nervous. All right, stop tripping the fuck out, man. That's coming from me. No, no. fool. My bad. My bad. <sighs> so... What the fuck is up with the kid, man? What? You know, your baby, little, uh, little Mad Dog Jr. Hunter. Oh, yeah. He's good. What about him? Sh shouldn't you be at your crib you know, like changing some diapers or some shit? And what about Gina? Yeah, she's fine. I told her I had some business to take care of. She just had it yesterday. Yeah. So isn't she, like, tired? Like, doesn't it hurt when you pop a baby out? Well, yeah. I know I asked you to get in on this with me, but the baby and all, I, I would have been okay if you'd backed out. I am here for the baby fool. But the baby's not here. Wait, are you shitting me? You brought your baby to the, to the drop-off? Yeah, you can't bring a baby to a drop I just mean, I'm thinking long-term, fool. I'm not sure my kid's college phone with the money we get from the steal. Oh, well, that, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm really fucking excited to be a dad. And Sirio, fool. Oh, and Yeah, I was tripping so. out pretty bad. <laughs> Jennifer so much she wanted to keep it. And you know, my dad wanted to fucking kill me when I told him I got a kid on the way. But you should see that kid, man. I mean, the first time I held him, There's something out in the world that's that's mine, you know, all mine and Gina's. I will do everything right. Give that kid fucking everything I never had growing up. All right. Well, I mean, 
you took this shit a whole lot better than I would. <laughs> yeah, I get some money saved up, and how much you flip on this? <laughs> Trips, you got dreams, man. Oh yeah, dog. I had a I had a dream last night. Me and the homie Sleepy were trying to get out of a house full of zombies, man. It was like some night of the living dead shit, right? Mm-hmm. So we're behind the the couch with, with some shotties, and we're like, you know, like ba 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 ba. You know, we're knocking we're knocking fools out. And, yeah, and man, that's not that's, though, that's not I, what I mean. Uh, like, what are you gonna do with the money when we flip it? Oh, I'm gonna buy shit with it. Duh. Well, what about <laughs> long term? Well, I could probably get a fucking five-hour long lap dance with, the, with all the money we're going to make. Fuck, oh, man. Do you ever not think uh, with your dick? That's not what it meant. <laughs> I know. I know what you meant, fool. I'm just just fucking with you. Fuck uh, you. Hmm. Long term. Well, I got a motto. That's enjoy the fucking ride, you know? Cops will shoot you in the back one day. Like they shot Psycho. Or, or your shit catches up to you. You get locked up like like you did with bams that's why you gotta enjoy the fucking ride you know live today like you ain't got tomorrow because sometimes you don't you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i get you mean man. i mean well with the money i get you know from this job maybe i was kicking some down to my parents of course and my dad doesn't need to work at that gas station no more yeah yeah you know you know but i mean after a while after i stack a little more paper yeah get to it man maybe i could Star my own studio or something. Studio, like like art. You gonna Picasso's and shit? Ah, oh, you fucking idiots! Oh, are you an Asian Van Gogh or something? A martial arts studio, dumbass. Oh, for real? A mar- that's what you want? A martial arts studio? Oh, I guess that's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I I could even kick it back to the homies. You know, teach them some moves. Oh. You know, train every Sunday morning. <laughs> It all use some discipline. Grandmaster Yang, is that it? <laughs> <sighs> you want to battle? Right. You must be crazy. <laughs> That's not how you fucking do it, man. What is that? Some fake martial arts shit with those fucking moves? <laughs> You're a fucking embarrassment, man. Oh yeah. Oh, is this an embarrassment? Ooh. Oh, oh. See now, see now. You think now you think you fast, huh? Now you. Oh. More like who's in you, fucker. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck, fool. Oh, you knocked me in the balls. Oh, that's the fuck up, man. You're a fucking dirty cheater. You're a fucking dirty ass cheater, Jimmy. Eh? I didn't knock you in the fucking oh, balls. Come did. on. You did. And it hurt. Come on. Oh, no, you oh, fucking oh, did. Oh, but I did. Just. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking say it, fool. Oh, say what? I'm the best. Say it. Oh, you're the oh, you're the best. Best of being an asshole. <laughs> oh, you fucker. Oh. Say oh. it. Oh. Say it right now, or I fart right on your face. All right, boy. Right. You're the you're the best. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're beginning to correct it. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking crazy, boy. All right, all right. That's that's legit. That's legit. You get the trip stamp of approval. <laughs> nah, you're gonna you're gonna make it, man. With your studio, you're gonna make your your dad, your whole fam's proud. Soon you're gonna be leaving all the rest of us behind, man. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Your dreams, man. Your your plans. Just. Don't fucking forget about us, you know? I, wait, when you go off working at your studio and shit, just like, just make sure you remember to come back and kick it with the homies. <laughs> For real. Like I said, man, I kick it back to the homies. We'll trade together, come up together, we'll all be grand masters, you feel me? I don't forget. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> what the fuck is that? Five oh fuck! Uh, get back the fucking car, Jimmy. Get us out of here. Oh, oh shit! They're on the other side. Two oh. oh, they're coming. They're coming. Get back. Get back. What the fuck? It's a holy trips. No, no, no. He can't be. It's it. <laughs> oh shit!
Appa? This is how I raise you? How did you? Were you watching me? Uh, Appa, I, I, I swear, I only took one. It, it looks so expensive. I mean, I never tasted, I mean, seen it. I mean, I wasn't. I just I talked just, to your swim coach. Huh? He said you're fighting again. He said you hit another boy. Give him a bloody nose. Then he asked me if I write a note you bring that say you don't need to go anymore. He said you haven't gone to swim lesson in three weeks. Oh, I, well. Um... Is this true? I said, is this true? <sighs> yes. Hey, up a... you don't study. This is second time you're fighting all the boys. Up a, please. Oh my, and Appa, we work so hard at the gas station every day to send you to this school. And for why? For what? So you can get kicked out. Is this what you want? No, but... You are a disgrace! No, no, I am not... You disgrace us and the work we do to send you. No! I should kill you. Why, Jimmy? What are you doing with the money we give you for swimming? Tetape, why? What are you doing? If you want to fight people, fight me. You think you are a big man now? Is this what you want? To fight your father? No! I hate this fucking school! I hate these fucking swimming lessons! Sekiga? They call me Chekapa and Gook. They wait for the way I talk. They put me down him in the locker room and they take my clothes and they put them in the toilet. That's why I took the money for martial arts classes. So I hit them back and they know that even if they don't like me, they damn well better leave me alone. Jimmy, uh... What? Kurmian and Dui. Why not? You say be strong. You are young son, Jimmy. Oldest son of oldest son. Error the family line. What you do brings honor or dishonor to the Yang family name. I know, I know. You are responsible for the family and for the happiness of everyone in it. Hapa, I'm being strong. I'm not letting him pump me around or Yuna. No. But that's what you taught me. I too. Th then what? What are you supposed to do, Hapa? They say if you fight one more time. They started it. They should be kicked out. They're the ones who keep doing all the stuff to me and Yuna. <laughs> no one here believes me. None of the white teachers, not even the Asian one. It's not fair. They always get me for fighting, but they never get them for all the things they do to me. Last week, Henry kicked me in the face and he sent <laughs> me to the office, but he sent him back to class. I don't want to go to this school. I want to go back to Wilton. Please, please don't let me stay here. I will talk to your teacher. They won't listen to you, Appa. You know that. They never do. They have a good swim team. Best school for swimming. You have Jay Nung, Jimmy. Big talent. You keep going. You can get a scholarship. Go to college. We work hard for you. You are our future. Papa, I... If you go back to Wilton, you will not go to a good college. You will have no opportunity. But here, you cannot get scholarship by fighting. You have to stop.
one day, one day I'll have more money than all these fools, all these fools combined. And they'll be the ones begging me, begging me to be their friend. All right, Jimmy, uh, or should I say Mad Dog? <laughs> oh, yeah. I see you got quite the record here. Um, three counts of assault battery, um, a few counts of petty theft. Uh, ooh, first one at the tender young age of 15, huh? Getting that criminal career off to an early start. Big Dog, huh? like beating on people, Jimmy? You like feeling strong, powerful? You think using your fists makes you a man? Huh. You bang? Come on. Where are you from? What uh, hood do you claim? Ooh. Get a rise out of you, huh? Look, let me tell you something about your little gang of homies. They don't give two shits about you. Uh, what's his name? Um... Playboy. We picked him up last week. It took us two seconds to flip him. You think your little friend in there is going to last any longer? Listen, homies mean nothing when you're looking at five years in prison. It's all a matter of who flips first. Trust me, you want to be first. I see pieces of trash like you every day. You all come around here day in, day out, peddling your fucking drugs, poisoning the communities that you're in. You know, you, you, you pieces of shit are a menace to society and yourselves, all these Orientals just coming over here with their families, their kids, their kids being more trouble than they're worth. All just wanting a little piece of the pie. Did your families raise you right? Tell you go to school, get an education, get a fucking job. <laughs> you know, let me just say something. You and all the little fuckers out there like you, you make my job. And trust me, I'm going to be out there protecting the American dream from pieces of trash just like. Fuck you making those crazy noises for Stop that right now, Kevin. Stop that right now. Look on. Crazy son of a bitch. Korea in the 1980s. I have never experienced such disgrace. To be approached by your teacher in the market, hearing him ask where you have been and being unable to answer. You have disgraced your entire family with your lack of attention to your studies. You bring shame upon our house. I'm sorry, Father. I... Sorry is not enough. Where have you been these last few weeks? What was so much more important than school that you had to attend to? Answer me when I speak to you. At my friend's house. Doing what? I've been practicing my guitar. 
stupid boy. Please, father. You would throw away your future to play that worthless American music? Try to understand. How many times have I told you that nothing is more important than your studies? How many times have I said that playing guitar and singing American music will get you nowhere in life? But father, I... I you think dare you talk back! It is a gift to be able to go to school and to learn. You don't think that I wanted to? You don't think that I wanted to become a scholar? I have worked hard for you to be able to do what I was not. I know, I am grateful, but- I Grateful? You don't show me this with your actions. Even when you do attend school, you play around. You don't study. You don't turn in any work. You don't have good grades. But father, it's, please, it's not what I want. It does not matter what you want. I am your father. I am the man of the household and you are my son. Jin Ho, you are the oldest son of the oldest son and bearer of the family line. It is your obligation to elevate the status of your family through your actions. What you do brings honor or dishonor to the young family name. You are responsible for the family and the happiness of everyone in it. I know, I know that I am, but that's what I'm trying to do in my own way. There is a music competition they're holding in Seoul. They're seeking guitar players, singers, and musical acts. They will send these people to various cities to play music. I know I can do this, Father. Young Sue and I have been practicing for weeks. I can play music and make enough money to get us to America. If you could just hear me, if you could just hear me play, I do. you would know. I don't need to know. I know enough. Get me your guitar. What? I said, get me your guitar. Go! Father, please. Destroy it. What? You heard me. I want you to smash it on the floor. No, father, please don't make me do this. You dare defy me? You dare tell me no? Listen to me, or I swear I will beat this out of you within an inch of your life. You are a man. You are the oldest son of the oldest son of our family line. It is your duty to leave these foolish dreams behind. You will no longer waste your time and energy on playing guitar. You will no longer go to Young Su's house to listen to any more American music. And you will listen. You will study. This is for the best, you know. I am doing this for you. It is my duty as a father because you are my son. You must have gone. And as your father, I must teach you to be strong. You will thank me one day. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, 
I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, Father. You were so furious. Oh, I should have stayed in that tree longer. Not that it mattered. When I finally got out, you were too tired to hit me. Though not for lack of trying. You were jumping up and down, trying to hit me with that stick through the branches. <laughs> Your mother should never have interfered. She was the only reason why I came out. She drew me out with the bowl of jajemian and made you promise not to hit me. Damn monkey in a tree. How did you know, son? I came straight from school to your home and you were already gone. I knew what the teacher would say. I suppose that's true. You always made such little effort in your studies. I searched for you for hours, you know. Back at school, in the neighborhood, even at Young Su's house, only to find that you were in the tree the whole time. Falling asleep <laughs> after hiding for so long. It worked though, didn't it? I didn't get hit that day. Such a waste. You should have studied more. Your teacher told me that you were the worst student in the class. Even more than that boy whose mom dropped him on his head when he was a baby. Oh, father. It was one of the greatest regrets of my life. One of the greatest disappointments. I had never imagined that a son of mine would turn out to be like that. Maybe the work was too hard for you? You would think with the amount of time I beat you that you would at least care. Such a waste. Ah, Father, I just remembered. I have something for you, something special. If you'll just wait a moment. These are some herbs that my friend in the country has agreed to give to us. Very special, very expensive, but I told him about your condition and he has agreed to give them to us for free. It should take care of your uh, nausea and your stomach pain, but you must take these every day. How is your back? It is fine. Have you been taking the other ones, the ones the acupuncturist gave you? I have. You know you're supposed to take them twice a day, once for breakfast and once during dinner, hot water? I know. If you take those herbs and the ones my friend gave us, should be feeling much better. They'll be much better than the ones the American doctors gave. You should be feeling more clear-headed and relaxed. Should notice a difference soon. There is a box in my closet. It is wooden, engraved with two birds. A box? Your mother's gold rings are inside. You can have those for your wife and your daughter. I will. You take the car and Jimmy will have this house. Oh, father, no, it is too much. And he has never been good at- Give it to Jimmy. He has worked hard, driving me to appointments, waiting for me at the doctors. He deserves it. So give it to him. All right. Where is Jimmy now? I thought you said that both of you were coming to visit me. He, he wasn't able to come. Why? He told me he'd bring me my great-grandson. He's in jail. In jail? When did this happen? Three days ago. Three days? And you still haven't bailed him you out? You know how he is, Father. Ever since he was a boy, fighting, stealing, getting in trouble. He may get in trouble, but he has a good heart to leave him in there for three days. I'm not bailing him out this time. Why? If it's money you need. No. Then? You don't have to concern yourself with this issue, Father. 
it's embarrassing enough that he's in there again. He is your son, bearer of the family line. You should... I've told him already, Father. I've already said that if he continued to get in trouble, that he would get no more help from me. He deserves to be in there. But his child, think of the child, you know, my great grandson. The girl is taking care of him and my wife is helping. But a son needs his father. Yes, yes, that's true. But a son also needs his father to help him be strong. It is as you have said to me so many times, Jimmy is the oldest son of the oldest son, the bearer of our family line. What he does brings honor or dishonor to the young family name. He has a responsibility to this family and one that he has failed to uphold. He has made several poor choices and it has brought our family nothing but shame and disgrace. It's the most important lesson you have taught me. He must have gone. I will bring you some more tea. You can take them with the herbs. It's probably time for you to take your medicine. Korea in the early 1950s. Sing with me. Sing, you son of a bitch. You're a disloyal to our great country if you do not join in. I said, sing. Sing, I'll have your mother come in here to sing with me. <laughs> you sound like a dying dog. <laughs> oh, you don't like being told that, did you? Well, the only thing worse than your singing is your brains. And that's the truth. I didn't ask to sing. Talking back to your father now, are you? It's that kind of day. The dying dog has teeth. Will you be finishing this bottle now, sir? Yes, I'll be finishing it, and I'll be finishing it whenever I do. Well, please. Would that be the fifth bottle, sir, or the sixth bottle? You are a worthless piece of trash. Worthless than the offspring of dogs. Disrespectful, insolent, who deserves to have the bad manners beaten out of you. How you are my own son, I have no idea. I have no idea myself. What was that? I said, would you like me to pour you another cup? Yes. And while you're at it, pour yourself one as well. Pour us another one. Drink up, boy, we're celebrating. What? Aren't you curious, boy? About what, sir? Why we're celebrating? I expect that you will tell me, sir. I expect that you're time with us, <laughs> stupid boy. Of course, I'll be telling you. We are celebrating you. Me, sir? Yes, you. This afternoon, you went to the city, but instead of selling eggs, like you're supposed to, you want to take a train conductor exam. 
Hey, I hear the test is four hours. You must have studied hard. I said something to you, boy. Answer me. Did you study hard? Yes, I studied hard. Mm. But if you weren't selling eggs, where did you get this money for your mother's medicine? Hmm? Did you steal it? You were involved in something illegal and immoral, I suspect. No. Don't lie to me. There is no way you could have found the time to study hard without taking the time from your egg selling. I did not steal it. I studied at night. Liar! Me? Just because you stole money and happened to spend it on medicine does not make it right. I studied does... at night after you fell asleep. I woke up before the sun came up. I went into the city and sold eggs. Then I came back and took care of my mother, my siblings, and you. I did this for months. Oh, so you're a martyr, are you? Poor Eun, sacrificing himself in his precious time. So what? So you can rise above your station? <laughs> if it wasn't for those eggs, hmm? If only you didn't have to sell those damn eggs. I never said that. Oh, but you did. You said it with your eyes. Stupid, worthless boy. You think you're better than those eggs, don't you? You think you deserve more? When you should be on your knees thanking me. Those eggs are everything. They are your livelihood. They are your life. No. They are not. You vain boy, idiot boy. Thinking you are better than me, your own father. I hear it. I see the way you look at me. Don't think that I don't. I see you use those fancy words that you read in those books. And I used to, I know you used them in front of me to mock me. You'll come from this family whether you like it or not. Your responsibility is to this family. And you will never be better than those eggs. I did not say that. You think I'm a terrible person. Poor you, with this terrible father who never lets him do anything. Never lets him have anything he wants. I am just helping you accept your station in life. What do you think of that boy? Huh? Say something, you idiot boy! All I have ever wanted was to go to school. Go on, say it, say more. All I have ever wanted was to learn. So you're angry with me, are you? Come on, out with it! You should never have stopped me from going to school. You should never have burned my books. If you had one shred of love for me as your son... I We're clinging to that, are we? <laughs> Idiot boy. You should have learned from the mistakes of your mother and your father. The professor was too proud to let anyone near his daughter when he was alive. But when he got sick and died, she had nowhere to go. No choice but to marry the next person who asked for their hand in marriage. A poor commoner. <sighs> what did his education mean to his family then? You should honor me. You should aspire to be me, who rose up to his current station in life through hard work and determination alone who works in the coal mines all day so we can have this house and this roof over our heads, this food in our bowls and clothes on our backs. Who drinks all of our money away? <laughs> you think I didn't have dreams? 
you think I didn't have things I wanted to do with my own life? Life brought me here to this house with your sick mother and your six brothers and sisters and you, you ungrateful little shit. What would your family do while you went off to school to be a train conductor? Who would get your mother's medicine? Who would feed and take care of your younger brothers and sisters? You are a selfish boy for even watching it. I would try. I would figure something out. That's what you say now. Wait until you have a family of your own. You're a son of your own, a grandson, a great grandson. Then you will see the fruit of your trying and your figuring out. When you come upon the solution, you let me know. I've been working on one for years. Until then, Twenty three, hundred twenty four, hundred twenty five, hundred twenty six. Got it. One, two, three. Are you doing math in jail? Man, you've always been such a nerd. <laughs> Is that you? Yo, I'm here to bail you out. Oh, say fucking Jesus, I could kiss you right now. Oh, you can kiss hey. out, so don't. Oh, okay. Where in Amanapa? I, uh, I didn't tell them that I was here. What then? How? Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go. Wait, tell me. Do you really want to be here any longer? Come on, let's Tell go. Tell me first, come on. I said, don't worry about it. I went up, but didn't give you any money? What? I mean, it can't be all Gina, she'd help for sure, but she should have like 10 Gs just lying around. She... No, you, you, you didn't. Didn't what? How could you? I don't know what you're talking oh, about. He used just scholarship money, fuck you not. I had to get you out somehow. You were supposed to use that intuition on your, your pencil, your books, and your... I don't know what the fuck you're supposed to need for school. I what have you... plenty of pencils. It's fine. It's not fine. <sighs> Listen, I'll pay you back, all right? With the interest, no. just give me a few months. No, please don't worry about that, okay? I'm your older brother. I should be taking care of you. Oh my God, I'm going to kill me. You don't know how many times Appa's told me it's my job to take care of you as the oldest son and it's- No, I don't believe in that. Come on, I'm just glad you're okay. <sighs> so Appa's fucking mad, huh? And then Gina and the baby? They're doing okay. Almost taking care of Kensa. What an awesome girlfriend, by the way. She got her parents to give me some of the bail money. Like, I wouldn't have been able to post bail for you if it wasn't for her help. Fuck her parents. Oh, I keep losing passing shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's my girl. Lucky to have her. Hey, Opa. What? Do you remember elementary school, that big kid? Uh, what was his name again? The one that always picked on us like all the time. Oh, that, that asshole, uh, Henry, Hen Henry, Henry Goodwin. Why? Right, Henry Goodwin. Ugh, I hated him. Yeah, that little shit. Do you remember when he said that thing to you in PE? <laughs> oh yeah, you could be at the table to hit that volleyball, rub against your shit to those squinty little eyes. <laughs> Good memory. Yeah, slapping across the face and I grabbed back his neck and slammed his head into the pool. <clears throat> okay. 
I was eating in the cafeteria and some random boy that I didn't even know like ran up to me and was like, Yuna, Yuna, your brother is getting into another fight. <sighs> they didn't really know what to do with you at that school. They got real close to kicking me out that time. They couldn't because you were the star of their swim team. It helped. Wasn't my fault. What? What do you mean your fault? I mean, my fault that you got into all those fights. Like maybe if you hadn't been defending me all the time, then you wouldn't be here where you are now. You mean like doing gay so shit? Come on or now. Maybe if we hadn't gone to such a white school or if we hadn't gotten like picked on all the time or if, you know, like Appa, like if he hadn't been the way He'd been. Wait, there's no use thinking like that, all right? That's just gonna fuck you up. But when do you think it's gonna stop? My friend's gonna hook me up with a good lawyer. You got no fucking case on me. All I have in you is just- no, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, when do you think you're gonna be done with all of this? Trips is my homie. So is Psycho, Bams. I don't know. I'm not like you, Yuna. Half the reason Henry Goon picked on you was because you were so smart. <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm not really good at anything except making money. What about your dream to be a martial arts instructor? Don't you still want that? I do, but it's just... It's, Jimmy, it's, you can do it. You can do anything that you want. And if you don't be... If you're not going to be a martial arts instructor, then you can be something else. I need the money. So smart, but you can't figure that out. <laughs> Studios don't come cheap, duh. And babies don't either. But you'd find a way. There's sometimes when you call me late at night and I miss the call, I panic because I worry that you're in some sort of trouble or you're calling me for bail again or worse that someone is calling me to tell me that something happened and you're dead. Come on, you know. Not... I know. Appa fucked us up. I remember him coming home sometimes, crying, drunk, trying to talk to us about whatever. Those days where we would like walk on eggshells trying not to make him mad. And you know, one day I came home and there was this mess in the hallway. There was these tangerines smushed on the floor and there was these dents in the walls from his fist. There was these drops of blood everywhere. And to this day, I still have no idea what happened, but that night I found some rags. I got on my hands and knees and I cleaned it all up and I didn't say a word to anybody. And I didn't even ask why, but I did it. And you know, that was the day that I decided that I was gonna leave, that I was gonna try to go to school on the East Coast so that I could just get as far away as possible as I could from all of this bullshit. I didn't know that. You're my hero, Jimmy. You've always been. Um, I love you. And you have a choice, you know? Like, just because we grew up this way doesn't mean that it's always how it has to be. So, choose your baby. Choose Gina. Choose yourself. Please, at least just think about it. All right, I will. And Yuna has recently had some work published in a book. Not a whole book, it's just an essay in a collection. 
but she is a very talented writer. I tell her that she should practice every day. They already make me write like 20 pages a week for all my writing classes. Still, it's not enough. When someone has such a talent, it should not be wasted. She is the pride and joy of our family. So, Opa's a college graduate. Congratulations, man. We're all so proud of you. What do you want to do with your life? I have no idea. Made the paper, I guess. Well, if you take six years to get a degree, you should know by now. Come on, Opa. You know I just switch around with the community colleges. Your younger sister will graduate two years before you. <sighs> It is harder earned, and so required a greater measure of perseverance, a greater strength of character. Yes, of course. So where is Zama? Buying water. I'll go tell her to buy another one for your grandfather. I don't need one. You are ill, father. You must take care of your body. I have cancer. That doesn't mean I need to drown myself in water. Jimmy, stay here with him. Jimmy, uh, when I was growing up during the end of the Joseon era, it was a family's greatest honor to have a scholar in the family. This scholar could bring honor to his family's name. His success could elevate his family, even the region where he came from. The family was dependent on his knowledge and his achievements. What he knew and learned was very important because it would change the course of their future. Education is a pathway to success. I too once wished that I could act as the man of my family in this way, but... My grandson, today in receiving this diploma, you have become the man of the family. Your success is our success. And we- I'm oh, sorry, out of budget. I, I, I just swallowed my cranes, <laughs> not that good. And you said some really big words and you were clucked for a while. Mot um. <clears throat> aradoyo. Proud of you, Jimmy. You man now. Cause ah, 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 min starts night. Watch me bring the fire, shock night light. Coming to your city with a little funk and soul. Gonna light you up like dynamite. Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. Ah, ah, ah. Jimmy, you back. Yeah, what are you doing? Never mind, never mind. Jimmy, remember how I say we should be in a band? No. I did, I did. I say for contest. Talent show for Mu Yim. Oh, yeah, for your uh, high school meetups. I always know. Always know. We can win. Friend from high school, he won that year. Wait, what, what are you talking about? There's there's no... Oh, now you're talking about that guy, the, the one you were in a band with before you came to America, right? Yeah, yeah. Big contest. He win, he kasu now. He... Professionally, I know. In Korea. Yeah, he, he won contests. He come to Moyim now sometime, but in talent show, 
We can be him. We still have chance. Okay. Atu, you sing with me. <clears throat> Yesterday, all Yesterday. my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I, I believe in you. Sing, Jimmy, sing. I believe in yesterday. Good, son, good. We keep practicing. Maybe one day we're famous too. <laughs> Appa. What? I'm sorry. For what? I just, I'm sorry. Uh. Aren't you going to say anything? Nope. <laughs> I mean, come on, I just come back from jail and you don't have anything to say to me? I thought you'd be mad. I mean, last time you kind of beat the shit out of me, you said that you were going to bail me out. I didn't. I know, I just thought I'd care more, I guess. I don't care. You don't. Even though I went to jail, you're okay with all- No, because I give up on you. You oh. say you want diamonds and rings of Jimmy. <laughs> You make a mess. You give up on me? Go. Go get it. Now. I went to jail again. I was in jail and been doing drugs again. I know. So why didn't you say anything? Or do anything? The last time. You get in trouble. No. No. You must have gone. You figure it out. It was Yuna. Yuna bailed me out with the scholarship money. Mo. I know. All the son of the oldest son, right? I need to man the fuck up because it's my job to carry the family's honor, right? That's the shit you've been feeding me since I was four? And what good has that done? Because here I am selling drugs, getting caught, and letting my little sister bail me the fuck out. So God damn you, my psyche! Papa, please! Papa! All I ever wanted was for you to tell me that you love me, Appa. All I ever wanted was for you to tell me that you are proud of me. And I never got it. I never fucking got it. There has to be some reason for all of this. There has to be some fucking reason at the end of it all. So you need to say it now, Appa. You need to fucking say it. Tell me that you love me. Tell me you're proud of me. You're all the son. You caused me so much trouble. Tell me. Me and your mom, you caused us so much trouble. I know that. I know that. But I need to say it, okay? Just say it. Say it. Just fucking say it. Nothing. Nothing. You can't even. You don't need me to come around the genius anymore, all right? There won't be any more some Johnson bullshit. It's poison. I'm not gonna raise my kid like that. She's not coming back this time. I've been dreaming again. About that drowning kid. Sometimes the nightmares, I think, what would have happened if I didn't save her? What if I jumped a second too late or if, I didn't, if the river was running too fast? You know, I think about it sometimes when I'm awake too. I wonder, what's he up to, you know? Did my saving him make any difference? Is he a good person now? A bad person? Who did he become? Who did? I become.
Did I become that person? That, that promise I made with the water? Am I a, a hero? I mean, I just, just a fucking gangbanging loser, a drain of society, a nobody. I mean, whenever I have those dreams, I, I walk, I walk back and forth and ask myself those questions over and over. And I think again about the water, that stinging cold, the icy blue stripping everything away, purifying me. And I look at Hunter's face. My son, my boy. And I remember Hansu, you're the oldest son of the oldest son, but you, need to, you don't need to worry about all of that, okay? That's not gonna make you who you are. Everything you do brings your moms and me so much happiness. You're responsible for bringing us so much joy. Son, I love you. I fucking love you. And I'm already so damn proud of you. The rest of it, who you want to be, the rest of it is up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. The rest of it is up to you. <laughs>